Welcome to Kingsville, Texas for the 2020 Rifles Only Brawl. This is the National Rifle League's first match of the 2020 season hosted by Rifles Only. Match directors Jacob and Lisa Bynum have designed great courses of fire that will challenge the high level of competitors attending this match. This weekend, we'll be following Nico Detour, Josh Reeves, Michael Lilly, and Killy Lilly as they take on 14 stages across two days. With a talented group of competitors and a legendary match, anything is possible. You're watching the 2020 Rifles Only Brawl. As the morning begins, the squad starts their journey at stage 10. Right? All right, Josh. Yeah. Is the shooter ready? Up to All right, stand by. Get back. Get back. Get back. got done shooting the first stage of the day for me. It was 15 rounds positional in one minute. It's a really tight time. You really had to move on it. Had to do a mag reload halfway through. Everything ran smooth. Got a little excited on that last one. Thought the time was creeping up on me and pulled it off its right shoulder. But 14, can't, can't complain about that. Good start. And then, are you gonna are you dialing your wind? So yes, no, yes. Yeah. So then your hold should be the same either direction. Yes. Now how do I estimate my wind? <laughs> so that I'm gonna charge you for. That's the that's the trick right there. Put your rifle on the prop and remove your chamber flag. Yes, sir. Stand by. You may engage the target when you see it. Hey, 
Hey guys, I'm Nico Detour. We're here at Rifles Only, beautiful Texas. Sun's finally coming out. We shot the tank trap mover stage. 15 rounds, one position. Uh, ran a game changer up top. Went a little heavy on my wind initially, and I started dropping them off the side, but I managed to pick it up with a nine out of 15. I don't know, they said I'm high for second, or highest score in the stage, so I don't know, we'll see how long that lasts when the other guy show up. <laughs> I saw the dude in front of me, he was all low, and I went up, I started hammering, and I see my group's just a little higher, but I, favoring, I put it up with the low? collarbone after that. These all shot up on the bottom, were you favoring low? No, I was putting it in the center above it all, and I didn't see anything go where I put it, so I put it in the collarbone. Yeah, no, no. I'm actually starting to get a little mirage in that sometimes too. Yeah. All right, so looking at the reticle. You see how there's zero and then there's one, two, three, four, five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. As soon as it hits the five on this end, hit start. Okay. And then as soon as it hits the five on this end, hit stop. Oh, okay. Chamber of flag in, please. <laughs> Last name? Low, L-O-W. Low, yes sir. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. 14 up there. Come on, let's go. Easily one of the high scores in the What do you mean? I didn't think well, no. <laughs> I was like, dude, that's awesome. Did you get three again? Did you get three again? Uh, no, I, I beat my high score from last year of coming off the tower with a two. A little bit. Hey, we're, we're winning today. I freaking beat from last year. It's all that matters.
Jake Bibber here from Washington State. One thing I like about this stage is it makes you think. All the stages are completely different. Hi, Regina Milkovic. I'm from Arizona. That was pretty challenging. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish that well. So, so far, it's been a fun match. Carson Rutherford from Elk City, Oklahoma. I'm at the Heat Stroke Open. It was pretty difficult. High winds, fast mover. I start at the post or I start at the beam? Post. Good to go. Stand by. Good! Hi, my name is Keely Lilly. I just came off the barricade stage. We are at Rifles Only 2020. So just came off the barricade stage and had an okay run. Um, I was hitting them, making lots of impacts, and then I got really excited, started speeding up, rushing it, and uh, so I ended up dropping four. But all in all, I'm starting to have a good day. Uh, it's beautiful weather out here. Wish you guys could be here. Six. Six. Thank you, sir. Not terrible. Sorry, building momentum. Like, ah, oh, oh, I'm at the range. Yeah, and I, because you have a minute and seven seconds. When I went, <laughs> I'd gone through. I shoot real fast. Ten rounds that fast. Oh. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta slow down. And then I think. Impact. Yeah, a little bit. Good. Drop them off left or right. Uh, I dropped him on the left. Impact! Ooh. No. Win got you. Yeah. Yep. You start yeah. off on the center hole. Impact! That's where I dropped my wine. Off the right. I was like, Shh. Yeah. Center up. Just send it. Quit yeah. playing around. Damn it! Roll with you! <laughs> Thank you. 
Time begins now. Seconds left. All the time. Then you missed just off the right edge when you missed. Both times. Yep. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I got your freight. How big is that target? Impact! I, I just, I just, Impact! Impact! Is that it? Every one of your misses is right off the right oh, I edge. I know, I know. Just off the right edge. Oh, man. Dang it. That's a good got run, you, though. Got yeah, parade. but man, dude, I had it. I just got to go too fast. We had like 12 seconds left, too. Good run, though. Good run. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Yeah, oh, there. I'll give it to you at the right. buzzer. Up, nice job. Did you get them all off then? Yeah. Hey, there you go. First ever single time, give you the wind call so you can beat me. As the match comes to a close, the squad finishes their game at stage four.
here because yeah. kneeling was too high. So maybe kneeling. Just look at it. Maybe start kneeling, and then it's pretty easy just to switch to standing. If you I do. Need I have a longer torso than my legs. Yeah, it's it's totally up to you, but um, four tenths was perfect. Yeah. It'll probably be different by the time you shoot, but. Hey, Mike Lilly out of Eatonville, Washington, down at uh, Rifles Only for the Brawl in 2020. Just got done shooting Air Dingo to Alpha. It's uh, 20 rounds, 10 point, 10 rounds off a loop of rope in a helicopter and then transitioning 10 points prone. Shot 13, which is okay. Um, I don't think I hurt anything, but I don't think I did super awesome either. But uh, it's a great course of fire. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you guys should come out and check it out next year. Thanks. All right, guys, we are here at the 2020 National Rifle League season opener at the Rifles Only Brawl in Kingsville, Texas. And we are here with our first time ever champion, Chris Way. Chris, congratulations, sir. Thank you. How do you feel winning your first match ever and the opening match of the 2020 season? Can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I've been training a lot, so. So th this is a very rare moment, folks. If you guys have ever met or listened to Chris before, he actually usually has a lot to say. And right now you're kind of speechless, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go, let's run it through this way. I know when I talked to you earlier throughout the day, um, you told me that you were shooting well, but this was a complete surprise to you. Yeah, it was. You know, what, what did you do different this year versus when we saw you at the championship in 2019? I mean, that was only a few months ago. What have you been doing since? What's changed? Why Why all of a sudden did you beat so many great shooters this year? I trained a lot. I started shooting at 100 on paper uh, because paper doesn't lie. And so I was working different positions on paper, really trying to hammer out my weaknesses and uh, work on my wind calling. Um, this year, I talked to Tate. He said yep. he dialed his wind, so I dialed my wind on every stage, and um, it worked out. It worked out very well. And a lot of people don't know this, but a few months ago, you also had back surgery. So you're coming off of back surgery. You came off a okay, you know, year last year. It wasn't your best year. It was an okay year, right? Um, first year. Your first year, right? But I mean, it was. I know when we originally talked, you expected high hopes for yourself, and you, you did well. Right, and all of a high. sudden, you have to aim high. All of a sudden this year, you, you closed it on the first match. You sealed yeah. the deal, bro. Hard work, man. You gotta put in the time. You can't can't just read the internet. You gotta put rounds down range and, and practice. Because everyone else is. This right? is true. This yeah. is true. So if you would give one piece of advice to any of our new shooters out there, anybody who's thinking about getting into the sport, you know, you've been through it, it's fresh, what would you say? listen to someone else <laughs> <laughs> I think shooting at a hundred on paper tells you how you're shooting and uh, if you're shooting well and you have a good scope and ballistics calculator you know you know where the bullets gonna go so for me shooting on paper at a hundred made a huge difference this year awesome. I started shooting slower and because um, I travel a lot to matches right and being in Colorado I just didn't want to worry about pressure, so I started shooting slower and practicing on paper. Um, all the numbers have been going up, but but it's still shock. Well, all your hard work's paid off. We're very happy for you, sir. 
Thank you. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you at the next match and psyched. psyched. And contending. Idaho. There you go. Idaho. We'll see you there. Thank you. All right, guys, we are here with not only our top lady, but she also tied for second place, Miss Regina Milkovich. Congratulations. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Thanks. Good. I'm good. I'm good. Terrific. So rifles only. This is kind of like a, a second home to you. Um, this range, uh, the Bynum, so on and so forth. Uh, very challenging course of fire this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, switchy wins, hard targets. What did you think about the match overall from your perspective? I think wind is dumb. Um, it kicked my butt. <laughs> and that 400 yard KYL, I will own that someday. Not not this weekend and not the last four years when I've decided I'm going to do the 400 yard KYL <laughs> instead of one shot at a thousand. Right. Um, so next year, maybe I'll just shoot the one shot at a thousand. But after you shot the KYL, you shot the 1,000 for fun. Yeah, first round impact. Yeah. First. So, so I basically told anybody who will listen, and if you see me, at rifles only for the brawl next year and i'm like i don't know all or nothing 400 yard kyl it's got 10 rounds or one shot at a thousand take my mag from me download it by nine so that my decision is made for me i'm there just gonna go. put that out there so everybody knows i've asked the bynums i asked chucky and brian um uh, told my husband yep told most of my close friends just download it by nine so i only have that one shot so Eliminate all the, the variables and just give you that one option. I can't do worse than the zero I got to yesterday on the 400 yard KOL, so yeah, no. This is true, this is true. So, this match, it's the opening of the 2020 season. You are a match director for the NRL this year. I am. Um, holding a match at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, any plans, ideas? You've been shooting so many different matches over the past couple of years. Uh, you've shot, I mean, tons of different types of stages, types of environments. Um, any ideas or plans on what people can look forward to at your match? Um, lots of steel, lots of props, um, hitting Arizona quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, add that to your list. Um, I don't think we're, we're probably not even going to start stage design till July or August. So uh, we've got a while and, and we've got a bunch of ideas, a bunch of new guys in our club that have been pitching stories or pitching ideas, pitching stages. Right. Um, we practice them in our club matches. I know Walt Wilkinson has built a whole bunch of new stuff up on the long range at uh, Gunsight. Yep. So we'll be pulling from that quite a bit. Um, basically plan for shenanigans because we always have shenanigans. Always. So there's always something in there that we think is funny. Everybody else is like, man, that's a dumb prop. And we're like, <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> you so obviously don't favorite. get it. Yeah. yeah, like it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, yeah um, you haven't been around us long enough to understand how much fun this is. Yes, so if we see, so, see something funny someplace, we're probably gonna make it a stage. Awesome. So. So don't screw up too much at any other matches, because if we catch that, not only will you make the NRL blooper reel, um, we, you might be a stage. <laughs> there you go, folks. <laughs> awesome, Regina. Congratulations thanks, again. Sir. It's you. awesome to see you up here on the podium, and we look forward to seeing you on more wins. Yeah, thanks for um, putting up with my teasing. Of course. <laughs> All right, guys, I am here with our top young gun, Mr. Colden Cloud. Colden, congratulations, sir. You shot a phenomenal match this weekend. Not only are you our top young gun, you also tied for second place. Um, how was it in your perspective overall? Uh, the match was pretty good. The, the flow wasn't horrible, but it was doable. And the stages were nice. That, having to shoot a lot of rounds, like the barrel burner, it was a lot of fun having to shoot so many rounds in one stage. And then all the positions was a lot of fun. Overall, the match was pretty fun. Nice. Now, you this is your second or third year competing. Uh, second. Second year competing, um, and you're taking a tie for second place in a very stacked group of competitors. That's got to make you feel good inside. Feels pretty good knowing that I'll be able to do this and even do better on the next match. And being able to be consistent would be great. Consistency is key. You were out here this weekend, not only yourself competing, but your dad was competing as well. How is it when you are able to compete with your, your dad, your, your family? Does it make a difference in your mental mindset, or is it just, hey, he's on his own, I'm going to do my thing and rock it? Well, he tries to help me a lot, but he really doesn't know what he's doing most of the time. <laughs> so I have to tell him to be quiet every once in a while. But I, I help him most of the time. That's awesome. So the son becomes the teacher. Yeah, basically. Very cool. So what would you say to all of our young guns out there that are watching, that are aspiring or thinking about getting into the sport? Um... You don't have to train far. You can train within like 200, 300 yards, just train on a small target. And that'll get you a lot of places. Because once you start shooting those same targets, because like if you're shooting 300 yards at a three inch target, that's one MOA. 
that's a really good practice target to practice off of. That's what I practice off of. Yes, sir. And nobody's going to have a one MOA target. So once you shoot at matches, they're gonna always going to have bigger targets and you're, you're going to think it's a lot easier. And it helps you prepare yourself with the wind and everything. Because you can still get wind effects at 300 yards. Oh, absolutely. Especially on a one MOA target. Yes, sir. Well, that's awesome. That's great sound advice uh, from Colden. Again, congratulations, sir. I'm very proud of you. I know your family's very proud of you, everybody else. I can't wait to see what you do this year. It's very exciting. This concludes the 2020 Rifles Only Brawl, hosted by Rifles Only. Congratulations to Chris Way for taking first place in the match. The NRL would also like to congratulate Jason Gutierrez and Regina Milkovich for taking second and third in the match, as well as many great competitors close behind them. Thank you to the match directors, ROs, sponsors, competitors, and everyone else who helped make this match possible. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to stay up to date on all NRL news and content. As always, stay safe, keep shooting, and we'll see y'all next time.